Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is Dean. I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by coincidence, but a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, this is a general reading which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high angel spirit guides me to love and light the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's for their well being in the highest form of love and light. All right, Scorpio, you have clear quartz. Get crystal clear about what you want, what is acceptable for you, what isn't. Set boundaries is what I'm getting. So be crystal clear. And especially, especially if you are setting intentions for. Whatever it is that you desire, be crystal clear about what it is that you want. But also, I feel that, again, in relationships, that it's important that you be crystal clear in setting intentions with regards to specific boundaries for yourself. What is acceptable, what isn't acceptable. Otherwise, someone could mistreat you or do something that you really don't um agree with but if you don't say anything they're never gonna know and of course that could lead to other things so just be crystal clear be crystal clear and if someone's doing something or saying something that you don't agree with be bold and courageous and speak your truth be open and honest all right you have citrine, bring in the light. In your current situation, be the person who brings in the peace, the joy, the happiness, the, um, bring in that wisdom, bring in the light within yourself, allow it to be felt by others. It doesn't mean that you don't speak your truth about a situation, just do it in love simply do it in love even in in any situation i would say regardless of the situation whether there's challenges or not you can always bring in the light by shining your perspective sharing your perspective <clears throat> excuse me sharing your perspective which will allow there to be peace to be love to be joy to be understanding you know what i'm saying so Bring in the light. Let your light shine in the current situation. You have Red Jasper. Take action. Set healthy boundaries. Bring in the light by allowing your true self to shine forward. But take action. Speak up. Don't just sit back and allow things to just happen. Be proactive. Be courageous, be bold. And then you have, well, we got two cards stuck together, so we're going to take both of them. You have Epodite. Epodote. Go deeper. Go deeper in your current situation. Instead of looking at the situation from a surface level, go deeper look at what really is causing the situation to be where it is is it someone's actions is it um tradition and is it beneficial at this time if it is great if it isn't then look at how you can release it and let it go but go deeper in your current situation get to the root of the situation don't just look at it from surface level there's more to it than meets the eye is what i'm getting so go deeper you also have garnet ignite your passion whatever it is that you're passionate about go for it if you've been putting it off make plans to execute on igniting your passion so take the appropriate steps to 
get going with it. Again, I, I just keep getting, don't put it off any longer. Yes, it may be important for you to make sure everyone else is doing well and everyone else is cared for and et cetera, et cetera. And it's fine to put others uh, concerns ahead of yourself, but now's the time to put yourself first. It's now time to do what makes your heart pitter pat, makes your heart flutter, makes your heart happy, makes your heart just glow with excitement. Ignite your passion, your passion. All right, Scorpio. Let's get your final card. And if this message is resonating with you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also leave a comment in the comment section. All right, so this is your final card. And I feel like right now, because the waves are a little turbulent, that there may be some challenges for you right now in your current situation, but be hopeful and trust in the process and know that on the other side of this situation, regardless, there is success, there is greatness, there is love, there is peace, there's joy on the other side of this you will get through it and those involved in the current situation will also get through it with you and everything is really working out for everyone's well-being look at how beautiful and radiant the sun is on this card even though the waters are turbulent right and there's nothing wrong with turbulence because i feel like turbulence brings change it helps us to be pushed beyond our comfort zone right and so there's nothing wrong with a little turbulence to get you moving right but know that everything is still working out look at the beautiful hearts it's working out for everyone trust the process let your light shine and go with the flow of things let's see what your messages oh look confirmation Hope it's on the way, on its way, Scorpio. The raging sea will soon abate, and a great light will heal your heart. Wow, beautiful. Confirm what I was saying. This is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation. The courage, um, excuse me, but courage, strength, and patience are required. You are supported by a sea of love. Even if you don't realize it, you are supported by a sea of love, especially, I feel like, in the spirit world. Your loved ones, of course, God most high, the universe, however you honor the higher power, is always making sure that you are loved, right? And your guardian angels love you. And then you have people in the earth realm around you who love you as well. So, again, help is on its way, Scorpio. The raging sea will soon abate. It's going to end. Trouble can't last always. Like there's a song, right? There's a, a gospel song that trouble don't last always. Check it out. You might like it. <laughs> um, so the raging sea will soon abate and a great light will heal your heart. And I feel not only your heart, but those who are involved. This is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation. So you've gotten the word deep twice. So this message is emphasizing the importance of going deep. So this is a time of deep, profound, and positive transformation. Remember, I kept telling you, it's working out for your well-being and those who are involved. But courage, strength, and patience are required. That's why it's important to just go with the flow and use your inner strength to be crystal clear about what you want, what works, and what doesn't work for you, etc., etc. Speak your truth. You are supported by a sea of love. This is an awesome message for you, Scorpio, and I hope it has been helpful, and I hope it really encourages you. Trust your intuition during this time, and follow the divine guidance that you receive.
So this is your message. Again, I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here, Scorpio. I appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and press the subscribe button. Join us here because I would love to have you. Also, leave a comment down in the comment section. Give this a thumbs up, a like. It helps my content to reach others. And so, yeah, I would truly appreciate it. All right. So take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Be crystal clear. Go deep. Be courageous. Use your inner strength. Be patient. All is well. All is well, Scorpio. I will talk to you soon. Eh? And do me a favor. Tell me what your thoughts are on this image. Tell me what does this image uh, make you feel like? Like, what do you get from this image? What message do you get? Share with me down in the comment section. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.